Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Today, I'm going to be making a... Scotty boy! Please, no, not her. <laughs> Great, so champ, my new movie's coming out and I insist you make me a new mallet. Help. Materials for this prop include cardboard, red, black, and white duct tape, a barbecue skewer, string, a couple foam cup holders, a 1 inch piece of PVC pipe, two 1 inch PVC caps, red and black electrical tape, black spray paint, a ruler, double stick tape, PVC cutters, newsprint, gift wrap, scissors, an X Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, measure and cut the PVC pipe to 52 inches. Wrap the entire thing in black electrical tape, leaving an inch at both ends uncovered. The caps won't fit over the electrical tape. Wrap the pipe in red electrical tape, leaving space so you get an alternating red and black pattern. Cut a length of cardboard 23 inches wide and 42 inches long. If you don't have a piece long enough, you'll have to make two pieces and duct tape them together. Roll up the piece to create a curve. Duct tape the ends together so now you have a barrel shape. Measure the diameter of your barrel piece. To get an equidistant circle, I tied a piece of string to a barbecue skewer and a pencil. The length of the string between the two should be the radius of your circle. When you hold the barbecue skewer in the middle of your cardboard and move the pencil around it, you should get the correct size circle. I wanted a 13 inch diameter circle, so the length of my string was 6.5 inches. Use this first circle to trace and cut out a second. Tape one circle piece to the end of the barrel on all sides. Center your PVC pipe on the outside and trace around it. Use an X-Acto blade to cut out the circle. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Measure the length to the center on the opposite side. Cut a hole here as well and feed the pipe through. Cut a piece of foam thick enough to wrap once around the PVC pipe. Place the piece inside the mallet and tape it about an inch and a half from the top of the pole. Place the cap on the pipe and make sure there is no space between the cap, cardboard, and the foam spacer. Cut another piece of foam to wrap just beneath the mallet and tape it in place. For extra hold, I duct taped the interior foam spacer to the cardboard. Fill the mallet with newspaper or gift wrap. If you built the proton pack with me, you should have plenty lying around. Pack it in tightly, then cover it with the second cardboard circle. Duct tape the circle in place. Cover the edges all the way around so it is completely sealed. Cover half of the mallet with black duct tape. Cover the other half in red duct tape, including the end. Cover the end of the black side in white duct tape and rewrap the edges in black. This next step is for making decals. For simplicity, I'm only going to explain it once. To ensure my decal is the same size as my surface, use a mallet to draw a circle on the gift wrap and cut it out. Cover the gift wrap on one side with red duct tape. Cut away the excess. On the non-duct tape side, draw a target pattern. Here's mine. Cut the circles out and remove every other one so you have three of the five pieces. Use double stick tape on the non-duct tape side and place each piece on the white mallet surface. For the decals, more is better with regards to the double stick tape. Cut away any excess on the sides. For the opposing side, make a second decal in the shape of an explosion. Here's a good template. Cover this piece in white duct tape and cut away the excess. Cut a second decal in this shape, only cover it in red duct tape. Within this piece, write the word POW in big letters and cut them out. Use double stick tape to attach the letters to the explosion decal. Use more double stick tape to attach the decal to the mallet. Be sure to tape down all of the points. Generally, I suggest aligning the word so that it faces up when the mallet is held aloft. Cut a piece of cardboard 4.5 inches by 42 inches and cover it in red duct tape on both sides. Wrap it around the side with the target on it and cut away the excess. Create tape circles and tape the pieces in place all the way around. It should be half on the mallet and half off, so the target is now inward by 2 and a quarter inches.
cover the seam in more red duct tape. Repeat the entire process with a second strip of cardboard for the other side, only this time use black duct tape. Create four diamond decals, each four inches tall and two and a half inches wide. Cover them in red duct tape. Attach them to the black half of the mallet with double stick tape. Repeat this on the flip side of the mallet. And now it's time for paint. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the two cap pieces black. Back inside, cut a circle in the bottom section of one of the foam cup holders, just large enough for the PVC pipe. Wrap this donut piece in black duct tape. Place the spacer on the PVC pipe and place the painted cap firmly on top. Place the second cap at the bottom of the mallet. And there's your finished Harley Quinn mallet. <laughs> Great job, Props! I think I'll take you with me. <laughs> My boyfriend cannot be a full-time employment. I appreciate the offer. I don't think I'd like your boyfriend's benefits package. Harley, leave that kid alone and get in the car. Come in, Mr. J. Thank <laughs> you.